Hi everyone and welcome back to our inventory system series. This is a simple version of the inventory system series that you've seen probably on elsewhere on the channel. But in this one we're doing a much simplified version. In the last two parts we've already made our system, we've made the items, we can pick them up and we can add them to our inventory. Now let's make it so we can actually see them in our inventory via some UI. Let's take a look at how this can work. So obviously this depends heavily on what you want your UI to actually be. Whether the inventory is its own UI, its own system, its own thing, or part of something else, part of another player menu, whatever it may be. So we're just going to show it in terms of it being on its own, but we'll make it in a way where you can actually add it easily to other menus if you wish. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my inventory system, create a new UI folder for it. And the widgets for this are involved are going to be pretty simple. All you need is the container, which is going to be a list of all the items you have, plus then the slot that is going to show what item is, its name, description, things like that. Let's go ahead and create our user widget. And we'll give this W inventory box. And we'll create another one. View inventory slot. The box is pretty simple. It's just going to be a, a scroll box, essentially. Everything else is up to you based upon how you want it to look. So I'm going to do it very simple. I'm just going to do a border. And I'm going to change the color of this border to, let's do black. And in here, we're going to have a scroll box. Now do. Next up is this slot. So the slot here is something slightly different. Really. We're going to have the slot as a button so you can click on it and make it do stuff. So I'm going to hit on button. And inside that button, we're going to have a horizontal box. And we're using a horizontal box because we're going to show information. We're going to show the thumbnail, the name of the item, and how many of that item we actually have. So as I said, we need a thumbnail, which would be an image, followed by the name, which would be a text, and then followed by the quantity, which would also be a text. I'll we'll start off by blocking it out like this. And just so we can see and preview what it's going to look like, I'm going to go to where it says field screen, I do custom on screen. And I'm going to change the width here to 600. And the height to 60. I get an idea of what it's actually going to look like. So first of all, the thumbnail. Thumbnail, we're going to go to image size here and make this uh, 50 by 50. And I want to make this horizontal box actually fill the whole button as well. So you just click on the horizontal box and stretch it horizontally and vertically. Yeah. And the text block is going to be center aligned in vertical. So I'm going to go to vertical alignment, hit the center button, do a little bit of padding on the left so it doesn't butt up too close to the image. So I'm going to do, let's say, like 20. And we'll change the font here down to 16. There we are. And then I'm going to tell this one to also fill the space up. So it'll push the quantity, what will be the quantity, to the far right. So again, this one is going to be 16. Center aligned vertically. But I'm going to do right aligned in the justification. So go justification, right aligned. And this will eventually just be something like X99, for example, indicating how many of that item we actually have. So that's how that's going to work. I'm going to hit compile and save this. Now I want to give this a bit of padding around the whole entire thing. So I'm going to hit on the top part of my hierarchy in the inventory slot. And on the right hand side, you'll see padding. We increase this to say five and it'll give it padding all the way around the object. Hit compile, save. So before I go any further, what I like to do personally is just block out and see how it's going to look. So inside my scroll box here, I'm just going to put in the slot for the inventory. There's one item, two, three, four, five, and so on. So that looks okay to me. I'm happy with that. 
So on our inventory slot, this is going to take information from our data assets and put it into here. So let's go ahead and make sure our image here is named. So we can do image thumbnail. Our text is named text name. Make sure your tick is variable. The quantity we're going to do is variable as well and rename it to text quantity. Pretty simple. Okay. Right. Next up, we go to the graph. Now, on the graph here, we need to know what item it's going to have. So, we need to type in a new variable called item, and that'll be our data asset for the item. But this item variable is going to be editable and exposed on spawn so that we can spawn it in with that value. We also need to know how much of that item we actually have. So, we're going to add another variable for the quantity be an integer and again you want to make it editable and exposed on spawn next up we're going to go to the pre-construct the pre-constructs can be used to get our, our item information from our data asset and we're going to fill out our thumbnail and name from it so let's take out the image thumbnail set brush from texture and the texture will come from the thumbnail variable inside of our item. So we also want to do the same for name. So get name, set text. And again the item name. So I'll go back to my inventory box over here and if I set that to the item you see it's going to come up with the red gem icon the name of the item and the quantity over here I can set to 5 as you can see it's not going to change yet so let's go back to our graph of our inventory slot text quantity set text and this one we're actually going to use a format text node and the reason why is because I want it to have that X at the front there. So I'm going to do X for like times. And then in play brackets, I'm going to do Q. Again, literally whatever you like inside of there. So you're fine. And when you hit enter, the parameter will appear. I'm going to drag the quantity into that parameter there. So if I go back to our inventory box, I can see here it will say the red gem with the icon and with the value quantity okay so that's how it's going to look and I'm, I'm happy with that so i'm just going to delete what i've put in there and now we're going to make this thing dynamically build it so the scroll box here needs to be told to be variable that's because the content of it is going to change so we're going to name it and tick this variable box then i want to go to my graph and in my graph i'm going to get hold of my player character's inventory system so if i go to event construct get player character and then get component by class choose an inventory system and I'll promote it to a variable whilst I'm here why not inventory like so now I can get the content and we mentioned in the last episode that with maps, you can't do four each loops. You have to get the keys of the maps first and then do four each loops from their array. And the loop body there, we're going to create widget and choose our slot. And you should see the item and quantity appear as options here. So don't appear. All you have to do is go into inventory slot. Make sure they're editable. Make sure they're exposed on spawn. And thirdly, make sure you've hit compile. Once you've done that, go back to image box and you may have to refresh it by just right clicking refresh nodes and you can see this come up. So the item is going to be the array element. because That's the individual items coming through as the keys. And the quantity is going to be found from our content here. And I can either do that or I can call my query inventory function like so. 
get the amount. Okay, that's going to create the widget. Now it's created the widget, it has yet to make it onto the actual box. So we should drag out our box scroll over here. If you don't see it, just make sure you tick the is variable tick box on the top right here. And on the box scroll here, we're going to do add child. And we're going to add the bot there to the child. And done. Okay, and that's all we need to know. Next up is actually, let's actually see this thing on the screen. So currently on my player character, I'm doing one to debug print the contents of my inventory system. But let's actually make it show something on the screen instead. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to create widget. Spell it correctly, that would help. Create widget. Choose our inventory box. And then promote it to rebel. And then add this to the viewport. Now, as I mentioned at the top of this episode, you can make this part of your own existing UI. I'm literally doing this as the tester, basically. But you would normally build this into your existing UI, like your menu system, uh, make it look better, whatever you want to do to make it look the way you want it to look. But eventually, this is all we need to do to add it to the screen or add it to an existing uh a widget so we're going to add it with the one key and then i'm going to push the one key again to clear it so to do that i'm going to double check my inventory reference and check whether or not it's valid so if it's not valid it's going to create the inventory for the first time if it is valid i'm going to take the inventory reference remove from parent and then clear the content of my inventory asset now one will toggle that inventory up and on. So hit one. There you go. And you see I'm starting off with five blue gems because that's what I set up in the last episode, five blue gems. So let's go ahead and pick up the rest. And there we go, blue gems and red gems. There you go. We've created our simple inventory system. Uh, we can now view it in our UI. And we can pick up items. But let's actually use an item. Like how do we actually use that uh, from our UI? So as I said, you can make your UI as complex as you want. If you want more help with your widget stuff, check out a lot of my widget videos. They'll help you get started in that. Uh, but as a basic starting point for inventory stuff, this is all you really need to know. So we're going to go through the next part in the next episode and make it so you can click on the buttons on your UI to make them use the item, drop the item, things like that. So thanks very much for watching. If you want to support the channel and watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can watch that video plus many others all from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.